Hello to everyone and welcome to this really exciting video here on the Bradford Productions YouTube channel. Now in this episode of my Minecraft Creative Builds, I'm going to be showing you a brand new crazy golf course I have designed. And can I just say, it looks absolutely crazy, really, really crazy because the holes I've actually designed are very very easy and some of them are even challenging as well which I'm going to be moving on in the next few minutes so you can actually see here there's actually a few small holes a few bigger holes as well you know some challenge holes you know with obstacles and that for the golf ball to go around and you can actually see here we've got like some sort of plaza area where you can sit down on that before you start the game and when you finish the game and then we've got like an end hole as well and then we have like some other exciting bits of theming to look out for on the way so without further ado let me take you on a tour of this really exciting golf course so here we have the entrance to the actual golf course itself so on the left hand side so this little building here is where you actually buy your um you know this is where you actually pay to get in to play um the actual golf course itself and then over here next door this is like an equipment shop so what they'll do is they'll give you a golf club and a golf ball so you're all ready to go and after that you then make your way to this really nice themed plaza over here that I've actually created so you can see, so you can see here there's actually a lot of seats going on so I've actually built some palm trees you know just to make it a little bit tropical along with some sand when you actually sit down on the seat and you have some palm trees there you know around there just to make it really colourful and then over here you then have a fountain in the middle you know just to make it a little bit a little bit attractive to look at you know just you know so it adds a little bit more theming going on so the fountain is right behind some more seats that I've actually created so it's like a rectangular fountain and then I've actually added a few blocks in the middle just to raise the fountain water up a little bit you know just to make it really fun and exciting to look at so let's move on to the very first hole so you can see here so I've got like a golf ball at the top you know just to mark the starting position and then over here we have our first hole now I've actually given them some different names so for instance hole one is known as the beginning and then underneath you then have the amount of pass that you have to get your golf ball in to avoid getting a high score so over here then this is like a beginner hole so this is just like you know uh, putting the um, golf ball into that flag over there you know just to uh, make it a little bit easy to start off with and it's just completely green with some sand on it to represent the bunker where the, where the golf ball would go in if it actually landed in the sand and yeah so that is the first hole so let's move on to hole number two which is known as home and array well this is just exciting I just wanted to make some really good names up so we've got like a little bit of theming so like a house over here just like a ruined house over here and then something else like that as well and then we've got like a little house I've actually made there as well to represent some theming and then we have like a little bridge and then we have like some little obstacles so we've got like a um, if the ball was to um, go down the um, little path in and it decided to turn into one of these then the ball would have to be reset it to the um, where you actually um, took the shot from so and then in here you have another little house and then that is where the ball would go if you were to actually play the game. So, now hole three, this has got to be my favourite hole. This has to be one of the most challenging holes I've, act I've actually ever created. And this is actually called King's Court. Now this is actually a really big challenge hole. So you can see here, the ball has to go all the way around. So you've got like some obstacles, so you've got some blades are located near the corners the ball then has to go round there and then the ball will have to go along this broken style bridge so I've actually made like a a dot a zigzag 
pattern so you can see here the ball would go along here and then there and there from side to side and then after that the ball would then fall into this hole and then it will go through this little tunnel which I'll show you which it which will go through so it will go all the way around here where I'm going now and then it will come out of this um, actual hole over here and it will go somewhere and then after that players would then take the final shot and then put it into that flag so yeah let's move on to the fourth hole now this is actually a trick hole so this is actually called which igloo now over here we have a sign saying choose the wrong igloo use fishing rod provided now both of these igloos are exactly the same the same in the inside the same outside now if the golf ball was to go into one of the igloos and if it goes into the right one then you'd go on to the next hole but if it went into the wrong one the hole is actually a, a frozen water so that is ice and then the ball will go in it so I think it's this one so the ball will go into this pool of ice and then you have a fishing rod over here to actually then go and get it out so yeah that is a really good hole that I've actually designed so we'll now move on to the fifth hole so let's move on to hole number five now this has to be quite a challenging one as well you know even more challenging because you've got to get this one in one so you've got like you get hole in one and it's actually called hole in ice and then what this means is you have to um, put the ball all the way along this ice and you have to get it all the way without having to go onto the ice and get it out and you can see here, so we've got like some snowmen over here, you know, just to make it a little bit, um, just to make it a little bit, with some theming as well. So it's just like a hole in one hole, really. So you have to, um, you know, get the ball, it's got to go on the ice and then into that hole there without going over the actual score. So let's move on to hole number six, which is called windy lane now this is actually quite a um, another hard hole to do because you've actually got to get round to the other side so you can see here there's actually a lot of fires over here we've got two giant windmills as well just to make it a little bit you know just to go with wind because when it because when it's windy the sails on the windmills would go around and yeah so the, the actual hole is actually round the back of this second windmill so you can just see it over here, you know, so, you know, if the player was to play this hole, they could actually um, try and risk going through these fires, or they could actually get the ball to go around there. But yeah, it's quite a good challenge hole, really, and yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And then hole seven is also another hard one called Spin Ball Wizard, so this is actually like a game of pinball so you actually you know when you play the pinball machines um you know you have the um flippers that try and that try and um flip the ball back to the starting position or try and go somewhere else and yeah and these are just like um barriers you know they would move and the ball would then go a different way if it actually did hit one of these and then you can see it's very colourful as well I tried to make it like some sort of nineteen eighties um feel to it which I've actually done and then the final hole is actually called journey's end because all you have to do is to you know just to get the ball through that hole there and it will then go down through that hole there and then it will then go back to where you would buy the golf balls and golf clubs so yeah there you go that is the end of another exciting episode here on my Minecraft created builds. I really enjoyed showing you this really awesome golf course I've actually designed. And I'm actually going to make another one of these in future as well. And you know, I really enjoyed the theming that I've added. And I've also got a little bit more other theming to do as well, you know, just to make it a little bit, just a little bit fantastic to look at, you know, just to go with the actual design of the golf course itself. So, thank you very much for watching this 
video and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye for now.